Tastes like a world championship. All right. It is a well-known fact that the only two organisms that can survive a nuclear fallout are cockroaches and Fernando Alonso. It's science. Aston Martin recently announced Alonso will take Vettel's seat on a multi-year deal starting with the 2023 season. I expect more details about the contract to be coming out soon. Alonso, who's 41 years old and first started in F1 in 2001, was expected to retire sometime. Anytime, any day now would be nice, but his skills and experience, a lot of experience, are greatly needed at the struggling Aston Martin team that all too often find themselves at the bottom of the grid. You suck! Obviously, other drivers must have been considered, right? And if you don't know, driver Lance Stroll's dad, Lawrence Stroll, owns the team. And while the Strolls have a great relationship with other drivers like, uh, say, uh, Mick Schumacher, they also have a stronger relationship with money. Don't get me wrong, Alonzo is a great driver. And so is he, and so is he, so is he. So now this begs the question, could Alpine reserve driver and F2 champion Oscar Piastri fill Alonzo's seat? Signs point to yes, but that remains to be seen. But that's the musical chairs of F1. And the more money you bring, the more likely you are to find a chair when the music stops. That's all I got for today, guys. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.